we got a mount for the phone in the car. It's really nice. So we'll be able to take y'all on this trip with us, show y'all a few things. We are on our way to Florida. We didn't bring anybody with us. It's a, we are, we are having a couple's trip, so it'll be nice. So we plan to use this phone and do some live chit chatting and um, let y'all see around Pensacola once we get down there some. Show you our place down there. Um, we spent all morning packing. I did get up and read my Bible this morning and looked at some verses, but I actually got sleepy and uh, fell back to sleep until like 8.30 because I got up at 5.30. I was thinking if y'all ever have insomnia, all you got to do is read your Bible and buddy, it'll put you right to sleep. <laughs> I don't know if it just relaxes you or what. But anyway, um, right now we are just now heading out. We've spent all morning paying bills, doing chores, and giving the kids their list of to-dos and figuring out what, what they're going to do while we're gone, where they're going to stay. Um, when we leave, we don't leave them by themselves. We always have somebody there with them. But sometimes they do spend a couple of nights away. Um, Sandy says she's headed to the grocery store. Hey, you be careful driving, Sandy. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about... Um, what was I going to say? Oh, ordering the cookbooks. I've had several people go on PayPal. And I wish I'd have wrote down the names so I could tell y'all I'm here. But if you've placed an order on PayPal, you might want to take a look. I probably sent you a message this morning. I had about five orders and nobody actually made a payment. They tried, I guess, but when you pay through my website and it goes to PayPal, it directs you to PayPal, then it directs you back to the mer merchant's site after you log into PayPal to make your purchase. And if some of you have never used it and you're trying to use it for the first time to order my cookbook, um, it takes a little longer to use PayPal than that. It takes a couple of days to get approved and verify everything. So I've got about five people thinking they're getting cookbooks and they're not. So y'all check your messages if you place an order through PayPal. Hey, the cheapest way to get a cookbook hands down is just to mail me a check. Because I'm not paying everybody a fee to do that. So it's $19 if you just mail me a check. My post office box now is on Facebook under contact the, about information. We're actually going through Douglasville right now. My sister keeps texting me. She's driving me crazy. <laughs> um, I guess that's really all I want to talk about unless y'all have a question. Mike Hat Hathaway says, that is the devil at work. What are you referring to, Mike? What do you think he's referring to, Chris? Probably going through Douglasville. Oh, I don't know. I don't think he's from here. Um, we're working on the road right here. It's really loud. Um, it'll take us probably about six hours total to get down there. So we may see y'all after a while. Um, I need to, I'm probably more than likely going to work on my cookbook more than anything while we're gone. And if I do that, then y'all will probably be getting some reruns. But a lot of y'all have not seen a lot of my videos unless you browsed on YouTube already. So it went out for a second, but I'll probably start posting some reruns just so y'all have something to see every day on Color Valley Cooks. If me and Chris catch some fish, we'll try to video it, and we'll try to cook it live. But we don't know, you know, that's just hit or miss whether or not we catch anything when we get down there. Um, but I wanted to give y'all a heads up on where we're at. If I see anything interesting on the way, I'll show you, but we usually don't. I didn't bring the dogs with me. I know I'm going to miss them. Like what? Chris says I could tell y'all what I've done the last couple of days. You don't know what you've done? No, I don't know what you're referring to. What, you 
Africa. Let's get the days. Oh, I guess he means yesterday we went to see my brother's ordination, and I do have it on video. And I plan to edit it. It was really nice, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And there were so many people there I haven't seen in a long time, even my family that I haven't seen in a long time. So that was really nice. And then um, I didn't tell y'all, but my cousin did pass away with the flu. My first cousin, his name is Chris Benefield. So um, we actually went by there and seen the family last night, as yesterday as well. So we just had a big day yesterday. Um, I hate that he passed away. So y'all be careful if y'all get the flu. And make sure you take care of yourself. And if you have any tightness in your chest at all, get to the doctor's office do not wait he waited too long to go to the doctor by the time he went he had double pneumonia and type a and b flu so um he stayed pretty much in a coma state for about a week and he passed away i believe it was saturday saturday so anyway, y'all be careful if you get the flu and, and take care of yourself. My brother actually had the flu last week, um, but he did pretty good. I mean, he had some bad symptoms, but he got over it pretty quick, I was glad. He must have had B-type. Let's see who all Lori says, congratulations to your brother. I know it was a wonderful, wonderful thing. I enjoyed it. Um. What else have we gotten, Chris? I guess y'all see me frying the chicken the other night. Look, that chicken I fried the other night.